And yeah guys, here right now in front of me is actually my current gaming PC with RTX 3070 Ti, Ryzen 7 5800X, 32 gigs of RAM. By the way, it's also kind of cool is my RAM actually didn't come with RGB install. So I bought like this RGB fake thing, which you kind of can put on top guys and looks so amazing. Like actually that's crazy. And what I thought for today's video is that I'm actually going to be putting this GTX 460 into this PC. You can see how dusty this guy is. Yeah, I definitely have to clean it up. But yeah, we're gonna replace it here with my 3070 Ti and see how good this 12 year old GPU can actually perform. And by the way, guys, if you're wondering, yeah, I also got a brand new water cooler. This is now the MSI, I don't even know what to say, but yeah, it works really well. I get like around like 50 to 60 degrees while gaming or even while rendering videos, which is awesome. And now it all matches because the motherboard is from MSI, the water cooler is from MSI and the GPU is also from MSI. And it looks really, really good. By the way, huge shout out again to Deep Cool for actually sending me out this awesome case actually crazy airflow it feels super high quality if you know we have like here as well dust folders everywhere installed super nice thing definitely check them out so guys we now built out my 3070 ti and guys i gotta say you was just the guy she tells you not to worry about literally look at this size difference i mean guys there's like 12 years between these cards in terms of like gpu evolution so therefore of course the 3070 ti is way more advanced but i'm really curious can this actually run fortnite gtx 460 one gigabyte gddr5 Guys, I'm not joking. Why does it actually still look clean? Like, it looks so good design-wise, you know? It's like completely like covered here with this like kind of reflective surface and it just looks so clean, bro. Like the design, I really like it. And I would say we're just gonna now plug it in. I'm also, by the way, gonna be using my stream PC so we have no FPS loss whatsoever while capturing it. And let's see how much FPS we can get in Fortnite. And yeah, guys, here it is right now, the GTX 460. And I already went here straight up into MSI Afterburner to give it a small overclock, you know. I just simply Googled it up and there were so many stats about the best OC settings. Getting some pretty good FPS, 200 actually. <laughs> Even 240 now, what is going on? Let me actually cap it guys at maybe something like 200 or like 180 So you know, it's not as noticeable if you have like so many FPS drops But this is actually really good. What is going on there? I mean this GPU is 12 years old guys keep that in mind So if you look down there, we also get like around 130 150, you know we have maybe a little bit like wider um, view distance, but still those are really good FPS like I'm super amazed right now Let's see how it goes in a fight. Even here while looking down there, you know, we have like quite a wide rendering distance. We still get around 120, probably even like 150 FPS, something like that right now. That is actually crazy. Like I'm super amazed right now, guys. Here we are now also actually in Minecraft and we're running a shader on this GTX 460, which is still amazing to believe even in my opinion. There you can see a GTX 460 on the right side and it looks absolutely beautiful like the shader which we're right now using is of course a little bit more like budget friendly but we still get like beautiful water we get like the nice soft lightings you know everywhere going on here it just looks amazing really yeah and this right now here is the village which i actually built and we get around like 30 plus fps you know this is definitely like playable sort of but let's see if we can maybe like turn off a little bit more stuff so you guys, I know did a bunch of changes to the config itself and to the shaders and you can see here now guys, we get over 40 FPS and this is definitely like playable. Like if you want to play Minecraft, you don't really need more than like 40 FPS for it to be playable and it still looks really good. You know, we have the water going on here. We have like the smooth lightning. Everything looks absolutely beautiful. And yeah, I would say we're just going to walk around here a little bit now. Check it out. You can see here all the lightning. Let me actually press like F1 real quick looks really really cool and as mentioned we get always like above 60 sometimes even 50 fps <laughs> and uh yeah let me just simply can check this out here fully looks amazing let's actually put now the time set to day so we can see like a difference now and we're also gonna put the weather to clear so we don't have a thunderstorm going on here and you can see this looks absolutely beautiful. And yeah guys, with that said, this is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like and also let me know down below if you want more content like this. I actually also have a couple more budget GPUs in my room, so therefore I can try them out, you know, from AMD, Nvidia, so we can like get a little bit of both. And with that said, have a great day, have a great night whenever you're watching this and until next time, stay awesome, I'm out, peace.